dreamers that we all get it Don't give in to the pain, just keep living cause What's up guys, it's Toby Rosario and in today's video I wanted to talk about a pretty common question that I get or that is always asked all the time and how do I calculate what my offer is okay so this is so here's what I'll say to this so this is this is gonna be different for everybody but generally speaking there's two ways to do it okay right so there's the the common one, let me, uh, this is the, uh, so let's just say the house is worth $100,000, okay? And MAO stands for maximum, maximum allowable offer that you, you can offer on a house, okay? So let's, we're going to assume, so in this example, we're going to assume the house is worth $100,000, okay? That's what the after repair value is, okay? ARV. Make sense? You with me? All right, so the house is worth, well, before I get into all that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. Also, give this video a like if I provide some sort of value to you. And one last thing, let me know in the comments, comment below what you want more of and what videos, uh, what topics or questions you guys have. That way I can create videos and go into a lot more depth into that question, okay? So now that we've gone through all that, so the house is worth one hundred thousand dollars. Okay, so this is the common, uh, the way to do it, right? So it's seventy percent, right? Seventy percent. Uh, so so a hundred thousand times seventy percent, right? Or uh, I'm sorry, you, so you do point seventy. Let's get the calculator here. All right, so let me. Uh, all right, so the house is worth one hundred thousand dollars. Okay, times point seventy. Okay, so you have seventy thousand, right? Seventy percent minus. Okay, minus. Let's say you want to make ten thousand dollars on the deal. Okay, ten k. So you're at sixty thousand. Okay, then let's assume the house needs twenty thousand in repairs. Okay, twenty thousand in repairs. Okay, um, so that'll leave us at forty thousand. You guys with me? So your maximum um, maximum allowable offer is forty thousand. Okay, now so you just do the you just reverse engineer it. So you do the twenty thousand in repairs plus the ten thousand dollar assignment fee you get right so that's why you're at 70 that's why and house is worth a hundred thousand dollars okay now remember that number remember that number of forty thousand okay the problem with that in today's market it's super competitive so how it works is so most investors um, most investors like to get a certain return on their investment okay so a fix and flip investment, let's say we're going to assume that um, they like to get 10, anywhere between 10 to 20% on their, on their return. So I'm going to give you another example. Let's say the house is worth $200,000. Okay. Remember this, remember these numbers. Okay. What is it? Okay. For this example. Now, $200,000. Let's say they want to get 15% return on their investment. So they spend 200, they want to get 15% on that 200, right? Well, it's supposed to be 30,000, right? Times 15%. So they want to make $30,000 on their $30,000 net return on their investment. Okay? Now, Let's go back to the, the ARV. So the house is worth $200,000. So this is how you do it. Okay. So they want to make 15. Now this is, you're going to have to figure out what investors want, what kind of return they're looking to get. This is all, this is going to vary from state to state. Every, you know, every investor is different. This is, this is your job is to find out what they're looking to, what 
rate, rate of return they're looking to spend. Okay, ten to twenty. All right. Typically twelve to fifty percent. I like to do fifty. So let's just assume it's fifteen percent. All right. So they like to. So in this case, they're gonna make thirty thousand. So that thirty thousand minus. Um, so two hundred thousand minus thirty thousand. Okay. So you have 170. Then you have to factor in. So remember that number, 170. So then you also have to factor in closing costs, realtor commissions. So you do 7%. Yeah, you include that as well. Well, $200,000 times 7%, okay? $14,000, okay? So 14 minus that. Okay? So 170 170 minus $14,000. Okay? So you have 156. Okay? Now 156 minus a $10,000 assignment fee minus $20,000 in repairs. So it's your maximum allowable offer is 126 in this example. Let's apply this example, this uh, formula to the $100,000 one. Okay, uh, for the so let's just do 200,000 times 70%. Let's see what number we come up with. So that's 140, right? Um, times. Um, I'm sorry, minus your ten thousand dollar assignment fee. Okay, minus twenty thousand in repairs. So here's the, so here's why here's why it's important to know this because you see the number here, one ten. So you, let's just flip that to two hundred. So here's what I'm saying. These formulas work. Both of them work. So this formula, the 70% ARV minus repairs minus et cetera, et cetera. So this is your maximum allowable offer, right? Same, same numbers, different formulas, okay? Now, the reason I say this is because it's so competitive. This is why, so sellers are starting to get smart and they want more, pro more money for their property. So, the, so if, if I'm one, if I know, if I apply this formula to this example, Right, I'm I'm offering the seller sixteen more thousand dollars. So you're gonna lose that deal if they get an offer at one ten, right? If they get an offer at one ten from you and they get an offer at one sixteen from me, who who do you think they're gonna take? Which offer do you think they're gonna take? Right? Those subtle differences could make a difference between you getting the deal and you not getting the deal. Okay, make sense? So does this work? Yes. Right, this, the seventy percent ARV still works. You can still apply that. The problem is, you might not get offers accepted because some other wholesaler who knows this formula, right, and currently in today's market, and they know that they can, and they and they know that their their um, investor wants a fifteen percent return. Um, they know that they can pay a little bit more. So they'll get the deal and they still make they still make ten thousand dollars. You see that? So one ten compared to one uh, one twenty six, that's sixteen thousand dollars more uh, to the seller than they would have originally got. So this is why you have to know exactly what what to offer or what your investors are looking to pay for. Okay, make sense? You follow me? Let me know in the comments if it, if it, if it does make sense or if it doesn't, so I can clarify some things. Now, so these are for fix and flips, right? This this formula is for fix and flip. How do I erase this? Give me one second, guys. Whoop. All right, we're just gonna do it on this side here. Let me see, I can, let me see if I can add a new one. Um, delete this. All right. Okay, so now this formula, the 70% does not apply or would not apply to, uh, to, um, to like a rental property. Right, so, 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 oh, give me one second, guys. All right, so, um, lost my train of thought. So, for rental properties, you don't 
you you don't you wouldn't apply that uh, formula. You so what you are, so there's two ways to do it. So let's assume you're in a um, let's say the ARV. So I've done most of my deals, right? They're rent, they're buying whole properties. They're not fix and flip. Okay, right? So that formula wouldn't apply to my fix my buy and hold right so let's say that let's just say the ARV is 40,000 and you do the math and all that stuff it, it really doesn't apply because it's not it's not so much they're they're looking for uh, what it can rent for what their cap rate is things like that they're not necessarily looking to buy it fix it renovate it to sell it and make a profit they're looking what it what can it cash flow right so what what I like to do right everybody does business differently I simply ask, oh, this, and this is through experience, right? You, you need to know what investors are willing to pay. And they do all the work for you. So, so I know that in my market, where I do deals, anything, if, it's, if, if the ARV is 40000 right? As long as I get it under $40,000, i will make a profit, Okay. Meaning, 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 it, uh, unless it's like a teardown or anything like that. But I guess what I'm saying is you have to understand what, what buy and hold investors are paying in your area as is. Okay. Now it's going to depend on the condition, things like that. So you're going to have to, you're going to have to know exactly what buyers are paying for. You can look at some comps um, in lower areas um, and see what investors are paying for as is. That's what you need to focus on, right? It's not necessarily, you can't necessarily use that formula because this is not, this is not a situation where they're looking to buy, fix it, renovate it, put it on the market, right? So that formula wouldn't apply. You need to look, you need to ask or know what investors are, are willing to pay for buying whole properties. So what are they paying cash as is? What's that price point? And then you, that's how you determine your, your assignment fee. So if, if in my market they're looking to pay 40000 or 50000 right, as is, right, as is, uh, then, then you you go you reverse engine you go backwards from there, right? You know where your assignment fee. So, for example, uh, you know, I know if I if I get a house in the contract for twenty thousand or twenty five that, that those numbers could be different in your area, right? That's it's all every market is different. I'm just giving you in my market. So in my market, where I do deals, it's a it's it's a it's where people. The, the buyers I deal with are buy and hold investors. They're not fix and flippers, right? But but I know the formula to fix and flippers, right? Right? But most of my deals are to buy and hold investors. So the point I'm trying to make is, so if I know if I get a deal for 20000 on the contract, I know I can sell it for 40000 35000 30000 whatever the case is, depending on the condition, obviously, right? It, it really depends on the condition. That's, that's another variable. But the point I'm trying to make is I know my numbers... So I know exactly what I can sell for and how much I'm going to make, right, on that deal based on, based on uh, what I get in on the contract for. So if I, know, if I know this property and, you know, the condition applies and everything is good for 20000 then I know I can sell it for forty, make a $20,000 assignment, right? Or I get it for 7000 doesn't need too much work, and I sold it for... Uh, Twenty-seven thousand, right? So it really depends on it. Really depends on your market. But I say all that to say this: um, you have to know. For there's two different investors: buy and holds and fix and flippers. So for fix and flip, fix and flippers, you would apply that seventy percent, or the um, or do the just do the the way I did the other calculation. You need to know what what um what they're looking to get on their uh, on their return. 15%, 12%, 20%, whatever whatever that number is, um, you need to you need to know that from your investor. Okay? And you can just ask them, what what, what kind of what what's your rate of return? Like what are you looking to get on your return from your investment? Are you looking to get 12%, 15, 20? You know, um, again that 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 seventy percent applies, right? It still works, but you you can lose deals. Um, you can lose deals because you might get another whole, depending on your market, if it's super competitive, you can get a, another wholesaler that's going to offer 
uh, 10, 15 percent more than you can, and he'll still make he'll still get that deal done because he knows the numbers. Um, he knows he knows he calculated the the closing costs, realtor commissions, calculated his assignment fee, his repairs, and 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 also the the percentage the investor wants to get. All right, guys, let me know in the comments if this has provided some value. Hope that all makes sense. Um, but let me know if, if you need some more clarification. Comment below and, and I'll, I'll, I'll try to do, uh, I'll try to respond to your questions. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. Also, give this video a like. Peace.